Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. In this video, I want to talk about damaged Phantom 4 Pro or Phantom 4 standard battery, what you can do with them. Now, some people will actually take it apart and reset the battery or buy uh, some kind of chip to replace it or even uh, use a special software to reset the battery managed system. For me, I don't like to take chances. I'll just buy a new one and um, get that going, okay? However, I don't like to throw things away, as you know, in my videos. And this is a very powerful lithium battery uh, system. It's actually about 90 watt of power. That means that if you have a 10 watt smartphone, you can, uh, in theory, charge it at least eight or nine times. So I have to figure out how to use this battery and connect it to my smart devices and charge them. So it'll be like a power bank. I'm gonna show you right now how to do it. Let's get started. All right, so here is the damaged Phantom 4 Pro battery. I, I charge it all the way to the top and it's pretty much fully charged. But when I put in my uh, Phantom 4 Pro drone, it say the battery's damaged. Now I, I know I was looking at other videos and they show you to take it out and then you know you have to power manage it, maybe use a special software, reset it and so on. So I just didn't want to take that chance because my drone is quite expensive and I don't want to base it on one battery that I'm being cheap on, right? One thing I'm not cheap uh, is the good battery for my drone. So I would actually try to buy a used, well-managed battery or buy a new one, okay? So with a new one, of course, you get warranty up to, I don't know, uh, I think they say 60 days or 30 days. I don't know, I have to check uh, DJI website. But anyway, the point is try to get a new one or a good used batteries, okay? Do not modify what's inside here. Uh, you risk of damaging your drone is going to fall from the sky and also risk of injuring people. So if you have to be cheap, don't be cheap on safety. All right. So anyway, going back to this damaged uh, battery. So instead, I thought, okay, I'm not going to throw this away. This is a very powerful battery. In fact, you know, this is very expensive too, right? If you buy it new, it would be almost 200 something dollars or even more than that. But maybe you can buy in a used market for about 100, 150 dollars. But the thing is, since you already have it, why not utilize it to charge your other smart devices? It's a very powerful battery system. It's a lithium powered system. And apparently, according to DJI uh, website, this thing should be able to recharge two or 300 times. So which is great. So let me show you what I do. Okay, so I had to figure out the pin. As you can see, I already labeled it. Now, if you're going from, uh, from right to left, the second pin and the sixth pin actually is where the terminal is, positive, negative. Now the second pin is a negative terminal. The, um, the sixth pin is a positive terminal. I know you can see that. Let me just zoom in there, okay? So second and sixth pin, second negative terminal, sixth positive terminal. Knowing that, what I do is I create this lead. Let me show you right now, okay? So there it is. And I lined it, so I put one in for the second terminal then the sixth one, then I hot glue it so that its exact spacing is correct. Once it's hardened, I know I could just plug it in just like a receptor in an AC receptor, right? You can see here, positive, negative. Plug it in and I should be able then to use this battery. And that's what I did. So here we have a terminal in the back. We're gonna, I'm gonna connect the uh, negative, okay? So I color coded blue and green, uh, red. So blue is negative, red is positive. So then what I do is align it, make sure you do it properly and connect it in there. Let me see if I can show you. Now it's a little bit, now make sure you don't turn on the battery yet. You might short circuit it. So it's off right right now. So make sure you align it properly. Let's see the sixth one here and the second one. There we go. So you can see I got it going. Okay. So now the, the, the positive and negative side is connected. The second and sixth terminal in this uh, slot here, the back of the DJI Phantom 4 Pro battery. And then here I have a uh, socket with connect to the clamps. This is for, is like, like almost a car socket where you can connect the USB or AC converter, okay? So here I have a four USB connector to a car plug, as you can see here. Here we have the USB connector 
to a power supply. So there we go. Okay, so it's something like that. Now this is a standard USB-C, so it won't charge as fast. If I want a better one, of course, I would use this more expensive USB-C connector. This is actually allow you to connect five volt, nine volt and 12 volt system. And so you can even charge your tablet that uses a 12 volt or even a small laptop that uses 12 volt uh, low amperage. Okay, so you can connect that as well. So it depends on you and it has a USB-C and a fast charging USB connection. So I'm gonna go with the, the standard USB connector. So with the four slot here, okay? So once you do that, once it's plugged in, so all you have to do next is just turn on your battery. And now I can use this USB to uh, DC connector to my battery. I can use this now to charge my phone. For example, if I have a phone and I have a USB cable, I should be able to charge this phone. And any smart devices that uses USB connection, okay? So very useful because it's a 90 watt power system, very small and compact. It's now able to charge any of my smart devices, including my smartphone. And if I have an AC connection, uh, I can also have a low power AC uh, devices that can connect directly to that too. So I would have to buy AC to DC transformer car adapter that allows me to do that, okay? But of course, you know, knowing the fact that this is a you know, not so powerful battery, like it's only 80 watts. So you wanna limit your connection. Maybe a small tablet or small uh, laptop be able to handle that AC connection, okay? So nothing so heavy, but for a uh, smart device is amazing because you can have a lot of USB connector connect to this battery. And I believe because it's 80 watts, so you have a 10 watt system, it should be in theory, be able to charge, let's like, say your smartphone eight times. So, and also if you have a, you know, devices that is, uh, you know, like a light system, you can connect directly to this and you have an uh, LED light through the USB connection, right? Or a fan. So you can see the application, amazing. And the thing is, I can connect this to my DJI power supply connector to recharge it again, hundreds of times. In fact, according to DJI, two to 300 times of capability to recharge this battery. Okay, I think even longer than that. It depends, right? It could be even more than that because at around two, 300 times of recharging, then it reduced to maybe 70% capacity. So I'm still okay with 70%. Oh, by the way, you can also hook up to a powerful halogen light. This is actually from a car lamp light that I found somewhere in my garage and I was able to hook it up. And let me show you if I turn it on. There we go, look at how bright it is. Amazing, right? You can use this. And apparently this is, you know, will last for hours. So if you hook it up, very bright, you know, if you want an emergency bright light um, that will lit up the night, there it is, you can hook, use your DJI Phantom 4 or Phantom 4 Pro battery to do that, okay? So yeah, amazing. You could hook it directly to an halogen light source and you get a very bright light. Or you can also hook up, like I mentioned, to a USB converter uh, device to this battery and you'll be able to charge your smartphone and so on. All right, thanks for watching this video. If you really enjoyed this video, do subscribe and give me a little heart of appreciation. I'll see you next time. Bye.